Hi, this is a video that will teach you how to make the first step of the spiky ball. The spiky ball is a pretty hard project, so we're going to take this in a couple of videos. So first thing, you need a cube. And I want my sides to be thin, but my height. So I'm going to do an x of 3, a y of 3, and a z of 20. And I'm going to render it and take a look at it. Um, I think it looks a little small. I'm going to take that and be 40 for my Z. And then I'll need to zoom out. Uh, that looks a little better. Um, now that's the first one. I'm going to need to create another one and I'm going to have to rotate it. So hopefully you watch the rotate videos and we will line up the X axis and we are going to rotate on the X axis. So first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this. And now I'll have a second cube. So if I make this in the same place, you won't even notice the difference because they'll be in the same place. And actually, if you watch the rotation video, you'll notice it should be centered. Now we have to rotate. Um, so I'm going to get a rotate block out of the transforms, and I'm going to rotate my second one. Um, I'm going to keep the size the same, and then I think I'll rotate this 90 degrees and hit render. And see what I have. All right, now I have half of it underground and half of it above ground, but it rotated it to be the first, um, the, the second um, part, and we probably want to do two more. So I think since it's underground, I am going to take the transform block and get the, tra I mean, get the translate, and I'm going to move the Z up. So I'll need to move the Z up on both of them. So since my Z is 40 and half of it's underground, I'm going to move it up to 20. Render it, take a look at it. Oh, and that's good. So now I need to take my other one, translate it to a Z, also of 40. I'm sorry, 20. Height of the cube was 40. So now we have it on top of the ground. And we'll duplicate this. Control D uh, or right click, or if you're on a Chromebook, I think it's a two finger click, and then I'll duplicate it. And now I'm going to rotate it. Um, I'm going to rotate this one at 135 degrees. And if you take a look at where it is on the picture, that should be where it rotates because we are rotating it on the X, and I am on the X. So it should come up this way. And let's render it and take a look. Oh, well, it goes the opposite way. Okay. So, um, all right. Oh, no, I don't want to re-rotate that. I'm going to duplicate it at then. I must be um, looking at it backwards. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And then all I do is have to change my rotation on the X to the other side, which would be 45 degrees. And let's render that. And look at what we have now. This is what we wanted for our spiky ball. This is the first section. The next thing I'm going to do is color it. So I'm going to go back into transform. I'm going to get a color block. For this one, since it came out correct, I am going to make it all the same color. And I can put this all in the color block. So I can take this, stack it in, put an add, put this in. So I don't need multiple color blocks. And now you can also condense the code a little more. Um, I'm going to add another one. And let's render it. And now it's blue. It looks exactly the same. And you look at the translates. They're all exactly the same. So I think I could go into this translate. And this is just about more efficient programming and throw out that translate. And then I can put an add there. Now moving the rotate. Can you see I'm moving the rotate and leaving the translate? And I can throw it out because that's the same exact translate. The rotates are different. So you can't do that. And, uh, oh, I can subtract the color. And let's render it just to make sure it's the same. Oh, something went wrong. Oh, as you can see, is this in the wrong place? This is in the wrong one we've got missed 
this is in the color block. Oh, I see what happened. So I have to minus the color block. Now this is what you guys are used to when you're programming in loops. You have to make sure it's in the right place. So now I need to hit the translate, hit the plus on the translate, not the road, um, the color. And now it should be all in the translate. And you can always tell by taking it apart. And that one translate has the four long cubes. Let's try to render. And this looks great. The other thing you can do is if you have a problem with one and you don't know which one you have a problem with, you could put separate colors in for each and then you can see which color you have the problem with. And you can, um, now you'll know how to troubleshoot. So here we have part one of our spiky ball, which actually looks somewhat like a snowflake.